The Huron Manistee National Forests are two separate national forests, the Huron National Forest and the Manistee National Forest, combined in 1945 for administration purposes and which comprise 978,906 acres, 3,960 square kilometers of public lands, including 5,786 acres, 23 square kilometers of wetlands, extending across the northern lower peninsula of Michigan. The Huron Manistee National Forests provide recreation opportunities for visitors, habitat for fish and wildlife, and resources for local industry. The headquarters for the forests is in Cadillac, Michigan. Topic: History. The Huron National Forest was established in 1909 and the Manistee National Forest in 1938. In 1945, they were administratively combined, although they are not adjacent. Huron has about 44.8% of the combined area, whereas the larger Manistee has about 55.2%. The Huron National Forest is prone to frequent seasonal forest fires, due to ecological and geological factors including the domination of the jack pine in sections the forests, the needles of which are extremely flammable, sandy soil composition as a result of glacial outwash plain geology of sections of the Huron National Forest, and jack pine barrens management practices to create nesting habitat for the Kirtlands warbler resulting in dense, young stands of jack pine that are extremely susceptible to crowning wildfires. In 2010, the Meridian Boundary Fire burned over 8,500 acres 3, hectares in and near the Huron District of the Huron National Forest. The fire destroyed 13 homes, damaged two others, and destroyed or damaged 46 outbuildings. Features The Huron Manistee boasts thousands of lakes and miles of sparkling rivers and streams. The nationally known Per Marquette and Osable rivers offer quality canoeing and fishing. Additionally, over 330 miles kilometers of trails are available for hiking. The Huron-Manistee National Forests are a tourist attraction to many campers. You do not need a permit to camp on the National Forest campgrounds. However, some do require that one pays a reservation or camping fee. A wood permit is required to cut firewood. The Manistee National Forest portion is located in northwest Lower Michigan. It has varying but largely sandy terrain covered with trees. There are numerous lakes and frontage on Lake Michigan. The area is popular for fishing, camping, boating, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing and hunting. The North Country Trail passes through it. It has a total area of 540,187 acres 2,190 square kilometers. In descending order of land area it lies in parts of Lake, Nuego, Wexford, Manistee, Mason, Oceana, Muskegon, Macosta, and Montcalm counties. There are local ranger district offices located in Baldwin and Manistee. The Manistee National Forest is not one continuous mass but is broken by private property and towns. Much of the land had been abandoned by logging companies after being logged off a century ago. The Lumberjack 100, a 100-mile ultra-endurance mountain bike race is held annually within its bounds. The Nordhaus Dunes Wilderness is a unique feature in the Manistee portion. This relatively small area of 3,450 acres 14 square kilometers, situated on the east shore of Lake Michigan is one of the few wilderness areas in the U.S. with an extensive Lake Shore Dunes ecosystem. Most of the dunes are 3,500 to 4,000 years old and some stand about 140 feet 43 meters higher than the lake. The Nordhaus dunes are interspersed with woody vegetation such as juniper, jack pine and hemlock. There are many small water holes and marshes dotting the landscape and dune grass covers many of the dunes. The beach is wide and sandy. The Huron National Forest portion is in northeast lower Michigan. Its southern boundary is approximately at the latitude of Manistee's northern boundary. It has a total area of 438,538 acres 1,770 square kilometers. It lies in parts of Escoda, Alcona, Iosco, Crawford, and Ogama counties. There are local ranger district offices in Mio and Escoda. The Bull Gap ORV Trail is located in the Huron portion. 
It contains 115 miles kilometers of ORV trails. The threatened Kirtland's warbler nests in the area, and tours are available, subject to time restrictions. See also Michigan Ossible Valley Railroad